everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Alex and I love to make videos about lifestyle and fashion. For today's video, I'm going to be doing an what's on my iPhone 12 Pro video. So I recently did a whole unboxing video specifically for this phone. So I will link it down below and also I will put it somewhere on the screen for you guys to check out. So let's go ahead and get started on with this video. So we're gonna get started. This is definitely with the iOS 14 update. So this is why it looks a little bit different in case you haven't updated your phone. I will link a few videos about the iOS 14 changes that I have made since the update so you guys can check that out if you haven't yet updated your phone. So this is how my phone looks right now. We obviously have the Thursday 5, Thursday 5, th it's the 5th of November and then I have this little widget right here where it's kind of like little rainbows and stuff. I found that on Pinterest. I will make a whole folder for you guys on over on my Pinterest and link it down below so you guys can check out if you're interested in any of the little graphics that I have on this phone then we have notes so my notes app I'm not gonna open but I just literally put so much information I plan my videos on there I have so much written on my notes app because it's just like a lifesaver I'm so bad at remembering things and after that I have Instagram I love Instagram it literally is like my favorite because I love taking pictures posting pictures just like visual things just really are my thing so this is what my Instagram looks like if you're interested you can follow me I will link it down below but this is Instagram is just a go-to so I definitely wanted to put it here in the front because I literally it's the app that I use the most I feel like so after that I have Spotify I love Spotify and in case you don't know I have a podcast so you should definitely definitely check that out if you haven't already it is called a lovely space podcast it is available on like Spotify Apple podcasts like all that stuff so so many platforms so definitely check it out I have a few episodes up and we also have an Instagram for that so definitely check that out at a lovely space podcast on Instagram as well after that I do have my camera so this is what my camera looks like I really do like the quality and you can kind of tell like my setup right now I just changed like the setup of where I film and it, I literally am filming here on the counter um, but it just makes it so much easier for me so that's what the camera looks like then I have TikTok so I try to post on TikTok sometimes it is really fun I think personally so I like posting TikTok it's fun. I think it's a good time. Um, so I do have a TikTok. I will link everything down below as I mentioned, but I just like to post like little funny and random things. And when I find TikToks that I really like, I just want to make them. I think it's a fun app. So I definitely do post on here if you're interested. After TikTok, I have Facebook right here. I don't really have a public Facebook. I just have Facebook for the sake of like family and friends and stuff. And yeah, so I just have Facebook right there. Then I have the YouTube app. App. I feel like it's kind of like a must to have a YouTube app when you have a YouTube account or just overall watching YouTube so this is just my main channel which you guys are watching this video through and then also if you go to channels you also can find my vlog channel so in case you don't know I have a vlog channel as well and I literally just uploaded a 30 minute vlog you guys and I'm currently vlogging this weekend which I'm filming this video right now so yeah definitely subscribe to my vlog channel if you're interested I do love vlogging so much and I definitely definitely recommend if you want to see like more of my life and stuff like me and friends like family all that stuff I feel like this is more of like the channel to go to and then I have YouTube studio but after that I have this little widget smith that says it's a great day to have a great day I found that on Pinterest and it is just so cute I feel like it just really goes with the theme so nicely so then down here I just have a whatsapp whatsapp just really helps me to just kind of like communicate with family members who are outside the country and all that stuff so I feel like it's super helpful I love talking to my cousin who lives in Spain and through here I feel like that's the most thing that I use it for or to my grandparents those are the main reasons that I have this app, honestly. And also I have FaceTime, then I have just messages. On the next slide, I only have two pages as you can tell, but on the next slide I have this little widget smith that I kind of came up with recently where I just write some November goals, it's kind of like my main November goals. So I have this little widget smith that I created where I wrote in text, my custom text, and I just added like waking up at 7am Monday through Friday and then working out three times 
times a week and posting YouTube videos three times a week. And then I have this other little widget smith right here. It says see good in all the things, which is also from Pinterest. I do have a Twitter, so it is right here and I will also be linked down below. Recently, I've kind of started using Twitter a little bit more and I post my videos on there. Sometimes I'll tweet here and there. So it is not like my most favorite app, but I definitely do have been gravitating towards there recently. So definitely follow me on there if you want to. And the next thing that I have is Snapchat. So I do not use Snapchat that often. Hello. Um, I don't use Snapchat that often. I don't know. It's just like I kind of forgot about it ever since Instagram has these stories now. I just kind of used it less really like finding like the memories on snapchat so that's really fun for me then i have pinterest i do have a pinterest if you guys are interested i have like this ios 14 this is kind of like how my old phone looked like it looked like this from previous videos but i changed it up to what it looks like now but i will be adding the rest of the photos that i'm using for this iphone on here because i just feel like that way you guys have access to it and i just have a bunch of pins on Honestly, I love Pinterest. It is such a great place. I just love it so much. So I have a bunch of like phone wallpapers, wedding inspiration, studio apartments, places to go, a bunch of stuff. So I highly recommend if you want to follow me on there. Then I just have the phone app. I feel like it's just standard. I just have it there just in case I want to make calls. Then I have the photos app. I did this little icon as well as the other ones all on PicMonkey. Yes, on PicMonkey. Then moving on to this so this is where the app library is this is literally where all the apps are so we will start with recently added apps so here are just like doordash followers lightroom mail oral b i recently got an electric toothbrush so i recently got oral b which is kind of like the brand of that and i get to connect my phone to like the toothbrush so weird technology is just making such advanced moves it is an electric toothbrush to just really like it literally shows you like this like it goes from zero percent to a hundred percent once you're done brushing all the areas of your teeth and after that i have podcast i also have snapchat which i showed you guys i have youtube tracker which is really helpful if for those of you that do youtube i think it's a cool app i recently downloaded it because i noticed that a lot of people are using it and recommending it to see um just overall how your channel's doing which i thought that was cool so i have that I didn't specify in the top ones right here, but I just recently downloaded Lightroom because I want to really start editing more like on here. I don't know, I just like was trying to do and play around with it for the icons, but this one didn't work out, so I didn't really do that one. But then I have Mail and yeah, DoorDash, I don't really use that often, but it's just sitting there when it's necessary. And then right here, we can go into Social. I kind of went through it as well, but I think some of the apps that I missed we're like group me it's a great app to just like talk to people overall like, i would say it's like a form of texting but just not through your actual phone then i have linkedin which i feel like it's, it's important but i don't use it that much at this point to be honest but it's good for networking then i have facebook messenger then we have this creativity folder so this is how i organize my pictures that i will be posting or plan to post on instagram this app is called unim and it's it's a really great app to like organize your photos and just kind of plan since I'm a visual person I like when things go together so I just like having that app other than that I have facetune which I don't really use often to be honest I have in stories great app if you are in kind of like the marketing slash like creative world this is what I use to post certain things so like when I'm promoting my video that just went live or when I'm promoting a podcast episode that just went up so it's a really cool app i highly recommend you do have to pay for certain features though i believe then i do have unfold unfold is another great app that i really love to use when i post on my stories on instagram to promote my videos or to just kind of share that the new video just went up for example this one this is what i did recently i just took a screen recording of my last video and then i just put it in here and i added a backdrop which doesn't show up right now but you can edit the text right here and it's a really cool app i really like it and i believe this one might be free i'm not
not exactly sure but it has different little like settings and it's really cute I think it's a really cute app and it just really helps with posting on stories and making things look kind of like a little bit cleaner and prettier so then I have TubeBuddy I feel like it's a must to just have TubeBuddy um, I also have uh, photos and other than that I have Biesco Cam Viesco cam is where I like to kind of just like make sure I edit my photos nicely so I kind of just have a very basic sometimes I don't even edit so it's just kind of crazy because I just try to keep it the most natural that I can when I do edit though I do like to put it over here on Viesco cam and edit here and export from here so it's a great app for editing if you're interested then we have this entertainment folder which has some apps that we talked about we have productivity and finance over here I have this authenticator app for work as well as Mattermost is for work and Bank of America because that's my bank we have calendar and then Gmail mail notes outlook just more mail um, and then I have a sell on Etsy I'm currently working on a project recently so I've been using that app for that which once I'm ready to share I will share it with you guys but then I have the shortcuts app and Venmo and widget Smith then over here in utilities I have the Apple Store calculator call protect because I have been getting so many scam calls like earlier this year that I told my dad and he's like you need to download this app this is what I was recommended so I downloaded that and honestly great idea because I have been getting scam calls or at least it like lets me know when it's a scam call so I love that then we have clock just for setting up alarms and stuff I find my iPhone pay range is what me and my boyfriend use to use the laundry so I basically just like use my phone to pay for the laundry in our apartment complex then I have KC view KC view is just a camera and then Safari is just Safari we have settings wallet in the YouTube tracker app and after this we have the other folder we have Amazon Alexa here I love having this app because this is where we literally write our grocery list so it just makes it so much easier that's literally what I use it for and whenever I go to the store I already have a list of what I'm getting and a certain budget to complete so that I'm not going overboard or buying things that I didn't plan on buying based on what we're cooking so it's a really nice app I really like it but obviously you do need the Alexa I believe the speaker in order to get that app then I have my choice which is just my insurance and then I have Pinterest as well in that folder and then down here in travel I just have Google Maps and Airbnb so the black looking app with the little logo is actually called the citizens app it lets me know anything that is happening in the area of where I live so anything that might be like a fire or a COVID cases or anything like that and we also have weather and this translation app and then we have health and fitness so for here we just have the oral b app i have trail map or trails all trails or something i love hiking personally as well as my friends it's a great app to find some other hiking trails and stuff so i really really like it then i have the flow app the flow app is kind of like such a great app for you to track your period and stuff as you can tell I'm currently on my period <laughs> um day two but it's a great app you can log in any symptoms you have or anything it's a great app overall I love it because it really tracks my period and your ovulation days and everything so it's really really nice then I have Headspace it's a great app if you want to kind of meditate if you're struggling to sleep it also helps you so it's really nice you do have to pay for some like premium things but I just keep the regular like basic one and I like to use this one me and Caesar sometimes kind of when we can't sleep or when he's anxious or when I'm anxious I just kind of like to use this and it's really nice um, the health app and then Nike run club I recently downloaded that because I've been going on runs more and that kind of just really helps me keep track of how much I'm running and kind of like uh, the time that it takes I believe as well and then I just have oral B in that one as well and the last one is just shopping and food so I just have Yelp and DoorDash so that is pretty much everything that I have on my phone I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already it would really really help me out and I hope you're having a beautiful day or night don't forget that I post every single Tuesday and Friday and I will see you guys next Tuesday with another video bye guys